the Iron Age marked a technological and cultural revolution as people turned to a new metal iron to craft tools, weapons, and implements that would transform their world. But this transition was not swift or uniform. It unfolded differently across the globe, leaving its indelible mark on countless cultures. The Iron Age began in the Near East and Anatolia, modern-day Turkey, around 2000 BC. This period is often associated with the decline of the Bronze Age civilizations, such as the Hittites. Iron tools and weapons gradually became more common, marking the transition to the Iron Age. This region, where empires rose and fell, witnessed a remarkable transformation around 1200 BCE. The Bronze Age gave way to a new era. Iron, abundant and durable, became the metal of choice, replacing bronze in the crafting of tools, weapons, and everyday implements. This shift would reshape societies, redefine warfare, and fuel technological innovation. Beginnings of the Iron Age is a chapter that laid the foundation for countless civilizations to come. Iron, unlike other metals like copper or gold, does not occur naturally in its metallic form, but is typically found in iron ore, a combination of iron and other elements. The discovery and development of iron technology were gradual processes. The earliest humans likely came into contact with iron ore in its raw form without realizing its full potential. Iron ore was readily available in certain geological formations and people would have encountered it while mining for other materials. The true discovery of iron as a metal came when ancient societies developed smelting techniques. Smelting is the process of extracting metal from ore by heating it to high temperatures in the presence of a reducing agent such as charcoal or carbon. Iron smelting likely began as an accidental discovery People may have noticed that when they lit fires in clay or stone hearths using charcoal and then placed iron-rich ores or rocks in the fire, they could extract a shiny, metallic substance iron. As communities experimented with this new material, they realized that iron had several advantages over other metals. It was more abundant, durable, and could hold a sharp edge for longer. This led to the gradual development of iron tools and implements. Some of the earliest iron artifacts discovered by archaeologists date back to around 2500 BCE in Mesopotamia and Anatolia. These artifacts included small iron beads and ornaments. The knowledge of iron working spread slowly. From its origin in the Near East to other regions of the world, it eventually reached Europe, Asia, and Africa, contributing to the rise of Iron Age cultures. Iron had a profound impact on human civilization. It revolutionized agriculture, warfare, and construction. The transition from the Bronze Age to the Iron Age marked a significant technological and cultural shift. While iron was initially considered a cheaper alternative to bronze, it soon surpassed it in terms of practicality and durability. Some of the earliest iron mining and production techniques were based on a method known as bloomery smelting. This method allowed for the extraction of iron from iron ore with relatively simple equipment. Miners would first gather iron ore, which could be found in various forms, including hematite iron oxide and magnetite. These ores contain varying amounts of iron, and the ore quality would impact the resulting iron product. The gathered iron ore needed to be prepared before smelting. This involved breaking the ore into smaller pieces and sometimes roasting it to remove impurities. Charcoal was a crucial component of the smelting process. Miners would produce charcoal by heating wood in the absence of oxygen. 
This charcoal would serve as both fuel and a source of carbon in the smelting process. A bloomery furnace was a simple, vertically oriented furnace made of clay or stone. It had a small opening at the top for adding ore and charcoal, and a to year a pipe or nozzle at the bottom to blow air into the furnace. The prepared iron ore and charcoal were layer inside the bloomery furnace. It was blown into the furnace through the two year, creating a high temperature environment. The heat from the charcoal reduced the iron oxide in the ore to molten iron, which would then collect at the bottom of the furnace. Impurities, called slag, would also form and be separated from the iron. After several hours or days of smelting, a spongy mass of iron, called a bloom, would form at the bottom of the furnace. The bloom contained iron and was embedded with slag. The bloom was removed from the furnace while still hot and placed on an anvil. It was then repeatedly hammered to expel the remaining slag and consolidate the iron. Blacksmiths would further shape and work the iron into tools, weapons, or other objects as needed. This bloomery smelting process was relatively labor-intensive and produced wrought iron, which is relatively low in carbon content. Wrought iron is malleable and ductile, but not as hard as steel. Despite its limitations, this early iron production method played a vital role in the development of technology and civilization, as it provided a stronger and more versatile material compared to earlier materials like bronze or copper. Over time, iron production methods evolved leading to the development of steel-making techniques that produced even stronger and more diverse iron-based materials. The beginning of the Iron Age in the world varied in different regions, as it was a technological and cultural shift that occurred gradually over time. The Iron Age is typically characterized by the widespread use of iron tools and weapons replacing or supplementing those made of bronze or other materials. In Europe, the Iron Age is generally divided into two phases, the Halsted period 800 BCE to 450 BCE, and the Latane period for 50 BCE to 01 CE. The Iron Age in Europe followed the decline of Bronze Age cultures. In Central Asia and the Indian subcontinent, the Iron Age began around 1200 BCE to 600 BCE ancient Indian texts, such as the Rigveda, mention the use of iron, indicating the transition from the Bronze Age. The Iron Age in Sub-Saharan Africa began at different times in different regions. For example, the Nak culture in West Africa is known to have used iron around 500 BCE, while in Southern Africa, the Bantu-speaking peoples began using iron around 400 CE, marking the beginning of the Banta Iron Age. In East Asia, the Iron Age began at various times in different regions. In China, iron smelting dates back to the 6th century BCE during the spring and autumn period. In Japan, ironworking technology was introduced around the 4th century CE. The Iron Age did not begin in the Americas in the same way as in the Old World, while Native American cultures did work with metals like copper and eventually iron. This occurred later and was often influenced by contact with European settlers. The legacy of the Iron Age lives on in our modern world. Iron, a foundation of our industrial society, continues to be a symbol of strength and progress. The discovery and development of iron technology were gradual processes that took place over centuries. Iron's unique properties and advantages played a crucial role in shaping the course of human history, leading to innovations in agriculture, industry, and warfare and contributing to the rise of numerous civilizations around the world. 
Thank you for joining us on this exploration of the Iron Age. Stay curious and keep discovering the fascinating chapters of our shared history.